Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite conspiracy theorist debunker, Gardner, the Linux gamer. This video is brought to you by my 124 amazing patrons, along with the support of Peter Wilkins, one of my top tier Singularity members. Peter, your support is truly humbling. All right, so somebody sent me this. I can't, fi I can't find the link anymore where someone sent me this, but uh, what the heck? There, there's a theory out there on the web that Linus Torvalds has a secret alter ego that's inventing cryptocurrency. Um, what? That doesn't make any sense. But we're going to talk about this. We're going to like go through the reasons that they lay out here in the, um, in the article. And for those of you who aren't familiar, first of all, Linus Torvalds is the guy that created Linux. I'm sure many of you, if not most of you, know who Linus Torvalds is. If you're not familiar with Bitcoin, though, uh, Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency that uses inefficiency and uh, scarcity to create the illusion of value. And before people get all butthurt about that, if you ask anybody about the like the value of fiat currency, it's they'll all say it's an illusion. It's the same thing here. Money is an illusion. <laughs> Whatever. Bitcoin is used to facilitate pseudonymous transactions between people on the internet without the need for a trusted third party. So Bitcoin was created by a guy uh, or maybe a group, we're not really sure, who called himself Satoshi Nakamoto. It's believed that Satoshi Nakamoto is an alias. We don't know for sure. There are a bunch of people who have claimed to positively identify Satoshi Nakamoto as a different person, um, but that debate is still ongoing and there's not a whole lot of certainty around that issue. And that's why there's tons of speculation on the web about who the heck Satoshi Nakamoto is, uh, who he potentially could be, uh, on and on, yada, yada, yada. It's a mystery. People love a mystery. Ideally, Bitcoin is an open source distributed payment processor that uh, acts as like a digital cash and allows two parties to transact with each other without having to have trust. In reality, though, Bitcoin is more of an anarchist's fiduciary. Uh, it plays out li like any unregulated economic system would with booms and busts that uh, go in a cycle of infinite speculation. Now, if you can't tell, I'm a little biased. I have some strong opinions about uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general. We're not going to get into that right now in this video. Uh, that's for another video altogether. Uh, if I really just wanted to piss people off, which I don't. <laughs> So I keep those opinions to myself, but I'm going to try to be like impartial here. I don't really have a dog in this fight. I don't care if Linus Torvalds is or isn't Satoshi Nakamoto. So I'm just going to go over the proposals of this article and we'll talk about each one. All right. But before anyone says, but Gardner, LBRY is, is blockchain and it uses cryptocurrency. Look. Okay, LBRY is definitely a, uh, a blockchain-based technology, but I'm more interested in the video distribution part than I am in the, in the cryptocurrency part. And just so that everything's on the up and up, I just wanted to tell everybody, yes, I have about uh, 0.02 Bitcoin. Uh, it might round up to 0.03 Bitcoin. Uh, I also have about a thousand LBRY coin, which has been donated to the show by awesome, generous, well-meaning fans. And I thank you for your support. I know some people are weird about Patreon, so I try to make it as easy as possible for people to support the show if they want to. Uh, if you if you want to support the show, there's a Bitcoin address in the description. There's also now LibrePay, which is an open open source alternative to Patreon. So if you want to support the show that way, that would be great. You can also hit that like button if you like the work that I'm doing here. If you hate this video and you hate my stupid face, you can hit that dislike button. Or you can also go over to LBRY, beta.lbry.tv slash at the Linux Gamer and watch the show over there. It all helps me out and uh, thank you for your support. So let's go through this article and just talk about the highly circumstantial evidence about why this author believes that anonymous Bitcoin creator Satoshi Nakamoto is actually Linux creator and inventor Linus Torvalds. Let's talk about it. So the first thing, the first assertion of this article is that Linus Torvalds in invented Git three years before Bitcoin was invented and Git works much like a mutable blockchain. So one of the assertions is that if you compare the hashes of Git files in a Git repository to the hashes of a Bitcoin address, they follow a similar pattern. But my explanation for that is that uh, SHA hashes all kind of look the same. They use hexit characters, uh, which are like hexadecimal representations of binary, and they're based on an algorithm that put outputs a fixed length string and 
I find this completely unconvincing. I, I give this a rating of unconvincing out of 10. Uh, the next assertion is that Linus is a, quote, towering figure of the digital age who hasn't said, quote, one word about Bitcoin. Uh, when asked for comment through email, he didn't reply. And Google doesn't have a single quote from Torvalds about Bitcoin. My reasoning for this is that Linus is a busy dude uh, and perhaps Bitcoin isn't an interesting thing to him. I don't know why he hasn't talked about it, but I find that that is another uh, highly circumstantial uh, piece of evidence. I rank this assertion to be a, uh, I'm staying quiet out of 10. The next assertion from this article is, quote, if anyone has the skills to put together what was arguably already invented technology and thought to create a system that makes copying of digital files pretty much impossible, you would think it would be Torvalds. My conclusion to this is there are lots of people who could take existing technology and and build something out of existing technology. Hell, I could probably do it. And I'm not even that good of a developer. Yet again, this is kind of just a weird assertion. I'd like there are tons and tons of people qualified, you know, people who aren't famous, by the way, who could build something like Bitcoin. Uh, it doesn't ha necessarily have to be Torvalds. And to jump to that conclusion is just a, uh, you've got to be kidding me out of 10. <laughs> the next assertion is another quote. Some comments describing Nakamoto's code say it looks like someone trained in old coding practices or languages. Now, there are a lot of people in the world who uh, learned how to program before JavaScript was a thing. And so I would imagine that um, basically anybody who learned how to program before JavaScript was a thing would have learned uh, coding styles that were different from, uh, you know, modern coding practices. And furthermore, they're not even comparing Linus's present coding techniques or contemporary coding techniques with um, the with the with the quote here. So to say that his coding style is old, I mean, he was born in in the freaking 60s. He's not even that old, right? Let's look it up. Linus Torvalds. He was born in 19, 1969. He's only 49 years old right now. That I wouldn't consider that like old. I don't know. He was 21 when he created Linux in 1991. So it's like, uh, what are you talking about? I wouldn't consider that old at all. Now, old for me, and I apologize if I'm going to offend anyone here, old for me would be like COBOL and like assembly and stuff like low level that really... Uh, you know, that banks are still relying on because they're too old to actually upgrade their stuff. I, I wouldn't consider someone who codes in, you know, uh, C or C++ or anything like that to be old necessarily. I rank this assertion to be a poof out of 10. <laughs> assertion number four, is this five? Nakamoto's sudden exit saying that he had moved on to other things barely a year after he launched Bitcoin fits with a man that already had fame and name. Again, this could be anyone. I mean, this could be this could be Bill Gates for all we know. Like, why why is why are we automatically jumping to Linus Torvalds again? I, I don't understand. This could be anybody. This literally could be anyone. So I'm gonna rank this a this could be anyone out of ten. And the final assertion made in this uh, in this blog post, I guess, is uh, quote. Someone described Nakamoto's temperament saying that he could be a little brash at times. Uh, so far, that's the most convincing argument that has been made in this article. And conveniently, it's the last one. I'll rank that an 8 out of 10. <laughs> I think that it's totally improbable that Linus Torvalds is uh, the creator of uh, Bitcoin. I thought it might be funny to just make fun of it. So I would rank this article a uh, clickbait out of 10. Also, uh, I have actual reasons why I think Satoshi Nakamoto and Linus Torvalds are not the same person. Uh, the first reason is that uh, according to some estimates, Linus Torvalds only has one point, uh, I'm sorry, 0.17 Bitcoin. Now, whatever, he if he was Nakamoto, he, you know, they wouldn't necessarily know. But like, seriously, if, if, if Linus Torvalds was was the dude, wouldn't he have more Bitcoin? I don't know. If he was Nakamoto, maybe no one would know that he had more Bitcoin. Who knows? That's equally as valid reasoning as anything listed <laughs> previous. Number two is that uh, the coding style of Bitcoin source code is 
all over the place and it really doesn't match up to what we know about Linus Torvald's coding style. And we have tons and tons and tons of, uh, of reference material of Torvald's coding style. Uh, I would say that, uh, it, you know, if you want to see what Linus Torvald's preferred coding style is, check out the Linux kernel uh, documentation where there's a uh, uh, coding guidelines. Uh, down in the description, I'll have a link to that. I would say that the, the coding looks nothing like Linus Torvald's code. Uh, even, if, even if it was made by a group of people, I would still think that his fingerprints would be all over Bitcoin's source code if it was he who created it. I just don't think that that's reasonable whatsoever. And I think perhaps the most damning thing of all for this theory, I don't, hypothesis, is that uh, the original Bitcoin source code was developed on Windows exclusively for Windows. Um, if this were, if Linus Torvalds were the original creator, it would have been built at the very minimum cross-platform, if not uh, only for Linux at first, I would think. Um, the, the original source code for Bitcoin was uh, only ported to Linux and macOS after it was released. Oh, and after poking around a little bit more, I found another compelling reason why Linus Torvalds would not be the creator of Bitcoin. Uh, he hates C++. He thinks it's a horrible language. You can, you can see one of his iconic rants about why C++ is a horrible language. There's a link in the description. It's on screen right now as well. Uh, yeah, and, and why that's important is Bitcoin was written in C++. I just don't see this theory being anything but a hypothesis that holds no water. But I want to know what you guys think. I thought this was a fun thing, that, a fun topic we could talk about. Do you think that there is more evidence that I missed? Maybe Linus is really the creator of Bitcoin? Or do you think this is total bogus? Uh, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. If you believe in the work that I do, you can support this show with a monthly contribution over on Patreon, or you can pick up a t-shirt. There's a link in the description. But no matter what you do, whether you hit that like button or share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. And as always, thanks for watching.